Hello guys and welcome. Today we're starting a new game of Stranded Alien Dawn. Uh, we are going to be doing this on hard and let's set the C2 Jurassic uh, Park. For those of you who don't know, Frontier also developed Jurassic World Evolution. So there's a little uh, tip of the hat to them for that. We want someone who's pretty good at building, um, which I'm going to go with Grayson. Actually, Grayson's the husband of Vanessa, so we could get a little bit more happiness out of them by having them together. Vanessa's good at healing, though she's not good at, well, anything else pretty much. Jack is actually really good because of his combat level seven and the fact that occasionally he improves the combat of skill of others. So that could be really useful. And Emmeline, let's go with you, seeing as you're good at farming and you're also interested in cooking. That gives us actually a pretty good overall selection of skills. So let's start off with them and we'll see where we're starting in this world. Hopefully we don't land somewhere with rocks because we need lots of wood for Grayson. Um, oh, <laughs> nice little turn. Looks like we could be in a nice little spot here actually. Okay, so we have lots of fruit nearby. We have lots of wood. There's no stone that I can see. We've got some skim bark nearby. Oh, here you go. A little bit of stone. And some more veg over here. This could be pretty good. I think it would be nice to chop down all of this and build our initial like house here. First thing that I want to do is make sure that Jack, who's the best at combat, is equipped with the weapon. as that's going to be really helpful. And then we're going to want to set these to being cut. We need this to be observed. Is there anything else nearby to observe? Oh, probably hay. Hay would be good. Once we've done that, we're going to build a little, I guess, camp here so that we can extend this way. Uh, we'll be back in a moment. So it's our first day. No one, act well, it's our now our second day even. No one went to sleep, so they're all feeling a little sluggish, but we have managed to discover both the blade of grass and the fruit bushes. Um, speaking of which, I do want to get a few fruit bushes on the go just over here. Yeah, that'd be good. Uh, we're cutting down the wood currently so that we can get some construction on the go. And we also have our first little um, research desk. We're going to be researching wooden um, uh, construction even. Um, but with that, oh, a cause for celebration. Definitely celebrate. It's good to keep our uh, spirits up. But the next thing that we want is to get the construction on the go. So we're going to do some research into that and we're going to also harvest a lot more of this because I think we're going to need uh, about a thousand wood to get started with. Uh, and we also need to do a bit of research for these over here. That's the other thing that we want. So we'll send Jack off in a moment to do that. And with any luck, we'll have our farm over here, our storage here and then our base here. Uh, and I can't see any insects in there. Oh, we do need to research cotton. The sooner we get cotton, the better. As that's going to be useful for the carpet and also the tailoring. Whilst we're setting up camp, I do want to set some uh, more uh, advanced priorities. So for our healing, because Vanessa has the highest, she's going to be the number one for that followed by Jack Davies. In terms of handling, I think it's gonna be better to give it to Vanessa because she's not got much that she can really do at the moment. Jack Davies is going to be the hunter. He can be put to construction with Grayson being number one there. See, we're just prioritizing them, basing them on their abilities. Oh, we also need to worry about the schedule. We want these people to have some time to relax. So let's Keep it fair. For now, they have uh, that time schedule. For now, everyone should be going back and uh, enjoying the campfire. Although Grayson's having none of it. Oh look, we have Cloth Blossom unlocked. Great. 
Well, that was uh, short-lived. And Vanessa looks like she's continuing on through the night. Good for her. Possibly wasn't the best idea to continue all the way through the night if she's that tired. Oh well. I think this is the first time that I've seen them all actually eating together in any of my games. Uh, at least they've got community spirit. <laughs> I ensure you I did not kill that animal. But, waste not, want not. Uh, we're going to butcher that and hopefully then we can build a drying rack and get some dried meat on the go, which would be really useful for us. <laughs> oh, bless him. Look at his friend. <laughs> no! No! <laughs> they just seem to keep falling and I think it might be because of this nest here. Um, whenever animals get close to the nest, they tend to trigger some angry birds which go around and try and kill. Here you go, everything. And we also have the buttermelon unlocked, so now we're going to plant a buttermelon field as well. Eventually we will want to put a border around this to stop animals from eating them. I do want to also observe the twisted plant and we've also got Grayson observing the grain cob over there which is going to be really useful for antibiotics and early game food and what do you know we oh we already have an animal oh vanessa why okay well that's not great for us we're gonna send jack straight away grayson can help oh carter we we have a new a new survivor what goodness me of course you're welcome to stay Join, join. We can find a spot for you somewhere. Vanessa, I really need you to come this way. Go on, Jack. Do your thing. My intention is always to kite. However, I didn't expect Vanessa to run into a horde of aliens nor did i expect these to just stand around i think the um combat system needs a bit of a work to it but again this is early access and i am genuinely very impressed with how uh, developed the game is already this guy's incredible he's like leveled up twice as healing just looking after vanessa three what wow okay well carter's now really good at healing how are we doing? Oh, we only have six first aid kits though. That That isn't great. If we get some bandages on the guy, that'd be quite useful. But we do need to clear this area out and start working on construction, which Grayson seems to be more interested in. Oh, I, I don't get it. He just always runs off to do the observing tasks, even though I've set him to uh, do the research. It is day six and we have unlocked construction. Uh, we're going to try and build at least a small building here. We're going to, if you haven't checked it out, we've done a, a guide on the best or perfect um, house for the early game. We're going to do a similar build to that now. Uh, but if you do want to check out the actual build, do check it out in the top right hand corner I'll place a link to that video and that will give us three space for the storage and then we're going to do two rooms okay we'll worry about that in a little bit for now we can get these all up and running and working um, please get onto the grain co uh, cob we're gonna need that for the antibiotics oh wow it, it's actually great having three people who can do building because they're just like rotating and getting everything done really quickly. Normally it takes about a week to get the first building up um, from when you start building it if you only have one person. But because we have two, um, I mean, we've almost got the foundation done the first day, which is awesome. So we're just going to do the outer wall for this section first. In fact, we'll probably keep this section clear because we're going to build another wall in a moment. And we're going to want a stick wall in between. This is to maximize the amount of heat that we have in the house. And then we're going to have another room over here. Grayson is obsessed with this twisted plant. We're reaching the end of our second day here and you can see that it's coming along. We've got 
uh, almost the uh, everything prepared for the first three rooms. We still need to extend this more and then build another two rooms at least. In fact, three rooms is going to be perfect for us. And then we can like start stocking this for winter. So the house has come on quite well, as you can see. We've uh, even got some beds. Oh, we should probably set these to uh, Grayson and Vanessa before we have some random people sleeping together. This is pretty much the house that we want for winter. The only thing is we've got no space for research and uh, crafting. I'm tempted to replace this actually with another small building. But for the time being, we do not have the uh, resources required for it. Very uh, cozy, a little bit cramped, some might say. Yeah, if we could get another room here, that would be perfect. And it would also mean that we can expand should we wish to. I've noticed that we've done no research since building the construction, uh, the building, which is a little bit unfortunate. Uh, we need to focus that ASAP so that we can get pickling done and maybe some antibiotics ready for winter. At this point, I'm honestly quite surprised. So, <laughs> poor Emmeline, she's puking up because I fed her um, rotting meat uh, soup, but it didn't. I didn't want it to go to waste. Uh, but you can see here, we are prepping this uh, whole area ready for um, being um, enclosed. I've left the trees on the outside because I don't think they get eaten. Um, although I have seen insects damage them before. We might need to do that later. The next thing that we need is more weapons. So we are going for weaponsmithing next. But again, Grayson doesn't seem that interested in it. He prefers going off and looking at his wonderful little tree over there. We are going to scavenge this and hopefully get maybe a pulse rifle. That would be really useful because it slows down the enemy and can stun multiple ones at once. Um, but we're almost in a position where we're good to start prepping for the winter, which will be the next episode. So we're now on day 12, and uh, I think we're in a pretty good position. I just realized we should have selected these all to be butchers. Yeah, that's good. We can make some nice insect soup out of there. We, we do have our little house here. It's uh, looking quite quaint. <laughs> And uh, we've closed all of this off. We've actually got our first harvest of uh, the buttermelons ready, as well as the grain cob. So we are ready now, at the start of summer, to start prepping for winter, which is fantastic. We're hopefully going to get a good few harvests in. But we are going to leave it there for this episode. If you did enjoy it, please do drop a thumbs up. And obviously, if you want to see more, don't forget to subscribe. And why not? If you're new to Stranded Alien Dawn, check out my guides. I'll put a link to one right now. Uh, until next time, thanks goes to all of our, our amazing supporters, most notably our solo clips patrons, Cerebral Tag, James Irwin and Fireflesh, as well as our Lunars, the Calamity, Dixie Chris, Ben and Star, and our Blood Moon of the Day, which today is Chick Norris. Until next time, as always, ciao for now.